All right, what is up guys, Action Periodical one here, and this is gonna be my review of the entrance grid's Jeff Hardy. So without further ado, I'm gonna start with the accessories first, and then we're gonna look at the figure. Okay, so his two accessories are this nice fabric shirt, obviously has the Velcros here, and it fits really nice on the figure, you'll see in a little bit, but as you can see, it has the Velcro on the back, and from what I've heard, that this version of the shirt fits better on this figure than the original one did so that's really nice to know and it has his old 2008-2009 logo that was on his t-shirt at that time and then here is the stand that he comes with it says Jeff Hardy has the new WWE logo on there it's really cool it has the little rotating lights so you can position them whatever way you want and then on the bottom has the copyright stuff blah 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 it has the, two, the switch right there and you'll see what that's for so I'm going to play the demo mode, this is what the demo mode sounds like. So there's that, and then of course when you flip it on the bottom it plays a longer version. I'm only going to play just a little bit because WWE is a bitch, and so is YouTube, but especially with copyright stuff, so I'm going to play a little bit of it. So, and then you hit the side of it and it turns it off, but it does play that first chorus of the song No More Words by Ever After Ever, which is what Jeff was rocking back then. Hopefully uh, they can get the legal stuff out of the way so that uh, he can start using that again. So there's pretty much that, and then we're going to look at the figure now. Okay, so this Jeff figure is really, really nice. I like it. The face paint's really nice too, I love that, I love the tattoos that are here on his hand there, I love that they painted his nails black so I don't have to go and do it myself. See that there? That's nice. And they did a really nice job with the tattoos. Obviously, you know, this one doesn't have as many tattoos as he does now because this was his, you know, this is a version of Jeff when he was, uh, before he left WWE and went to TNA, I think, or Impact, I can't remember what it was called at that time, but he did leave for that. Um, but yeah, I like the armbands, the armbands look good, the white on the belt looks good, that's nicely sculpted. Um, the white on the boots looks really nice, and then overall the articulation's good. My only issue is that this doesn't bend back more, so it's Excuse me, it doesn't help when you want to get them in the Swanton Bombs, but uh, you can get them to do like poetry in motion and twist the feet and um, all of his other moves fine, except for that Swanton, you're going to have to try to figure out a different thing. But what's really cool is that with this figure, his face paint up here, it glows in the dark, just the top half though, it glows in the dark. but. What's cool is the, you know, that it glows in the dark. You just have to hold down the, the light for a little bit, but besides that, the face paint looks really clean. And it looks like Jeff. I love that the hair is slicked back purple, has the green uh, through uh, little bits through that hair. And overall, it looks really nice. So I'm going to get everything together. Um, but before that, I'm going to do the size comparisons, and then I'm going to show everything off together and give you the final verdict. Okay, so for size comparison, here he is next to the Elite 46 team and Finn Balor, and the Elite 20 CM Punk, and as you can tell, they're exactly in scale like they should be, so Mattel did a really nice job with the scale. Okay, so overall, I really like this figure. Um, I really like the way they came out, and uh, as you can see, the shirt fits really nice on him. I don't know. There we go. Alright, so yeah, it fits really nice on him, as you can tell. And I really like the stand, and overall, if I had to give him a rating, I would give him a solid 12 and a half addicts out of 10. Uh, because I really love this figure. It's one of my favorite figures that I picked up this year, or I'm sorry, last year. And uh, yeah, um, it fits, you know, my collection really nicely. I'm so happy that I was able to get a Jeff Hardy Elite 
and he'll look really nice in my wrestling collection. So if you want to pick him up, definitely pick him up before you know you discontinue him and the rest of the figures in this line. So overall, that's my review of the Entrance Grace Jeff Hardy. So I gotta say, I really like it. And Ash Periodical 1-2 saying thank you for checking into the Skull Asylum.